Hey guys, this is your tutorial for Tuesday, January 26th. Make sure you fill out the attendance link so that we can properly do our attendance and count you guys present. Um, your checklist items, we're going to do some mitosis and meiosis task cards today. So we're going to be comparing and contrasting them. So make sure you submit them into Google Classroom. Um, make sure you are keeping up on your reproduction vocab because it's due on Thursday. So today's Tuesday, due in two days. Make sure you're working on it. And then you also have a reproduction quiz on Thursday. So make sure you know the differences between asexual and sexual reproduction, the types of asexual reproduction, and then the differences between mitosis and meiosis. So under the classwork tab, you will find the mitosis and meiosis task cards. Each one has like a scenario or a description on it, and you have to figure out if it's describing mitosis or meiosis, and you'll circle which one you think is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and switch tabs to my copy of the task cards so you guys can see. Um, this is exactly what it looks like. The first um, page was your title slide, and now this starts the task cards. So the first picture here says mitosis or meiosis creates two daughter cells. Okay, so think about which one starts with one cell and then ends with two versus the next card starts with one cell and ends with four. So remember that the MIT in mitosis stands for makes it two. So mitosis makes two daughter cells, whereas meiosis makes four. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these circles and put it for mitosis here and meiosis here. Then we have the next two cards, mitosis or meiosis. Daughter cells created are identical or the daughter cells created are not identical. They're diverse. They're different from the parent cell. Remember that the IT and mitosis stands for identical twins. That's how I told you guys to remember it. So in mitosis, it creates identical cells in the end. So this one would be mitosis. This one would be meiosis. Meiosis creates your sex cells, so like egg and sperm. And those are definitely going to be diverse because one comes from mom and one comes from dad. So those are diverse cells. So here are your answers for the first slide. All right, next we have mitosis or meiosis. One produces somatic cells and one produces sex cells. We know that meiosis produces egg and sperm, so this is our sex cells, and somatic cells are the same thing as body cells. And I told you to remember that my toe, your toe is part of your body, so mitosis is making your body cells. So this one is mitosis, this one right here is meiosis. Now, which one only has one division and which one has two division, where they divide and, and break down twice? So remember that meiosis is a much more complex procedure and it takes longer because there are two divisions. So two divisions would definitely be meiosis and only one division would be mitosis. So here are your answers for this slide. The next slide, sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction. So which one of these processes helps out with sexual reproduction? Which one of these processes helps out with asexual reproduction? You know that meiosis makes egg and sperm which are needed for sexual reproduction. So that one has to be meiosis. Mitosis helps take place in your body cells and with asexual reproduction, just like if you have a skin cell that's damaged, your skin automatically replicates itself through asexual reproduction. It just copies itself and that's a form of mitosis because your skin cells are body cells. The next two cards, you end up with half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell or you end up with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Well, remember, when egg and sperm combine, they have to create the grand total of chromosomes, which is 46. If egg and sperm each had 46, then they would make double the amount of chromosomes, which would lead in huge genetic disorders. We don't want that. So meiosis, which is the process of making sex cells, 
they're going to create egg and sperm that have half the number of chromosomes as the parents. So 23 chromosomes in the egg, 23 chromosomes in the sperm, so that when they join to create another organism, it restructures and gets that grand total of 46. In mitosis, you're literally having an exact copy of what you started with. So you started with 46 chromosomes, you're going to end with 46 chromosomes. So same number of chromosomes would be mitosis and only half the number, which is 23 chromosomes, that would definitely be meiosis. All right, next one. You scrape your knee and the skin repairs itself. I just talked about that. Your skin cells make a copy of themselves. That's mitosis. And then you find that you're going to be a big brother or sister. You will definitely be more diverse than your sibling. You guys will be completely different because of meiosis, which is the creation of egg and sperm. So that one would definitely be meiosis, and the first one would definitely be mitosis. Okay. The next one says cloning versus the reason why we're all unique. Well, if you're making an exact copy, that's the same thing as cloning, so that's mitosis. And if you are created from two different individuals, then you're unique, so that's meiosis. So let's make sure we do mitosis for cloning and meiosis for the reason that you are different and that you have variations in your genes because you are getting genes from not just one organism. You're getting genes from multiple organisms. All right, mitosis or meiosis. The cells produced are diploids, and the cells produced are haploids. So you see here, it says, hint, body cells are diploid and sex cells are haploid. So a haploid is showing you half of the chromosome pair. A diploid shows the two already combined. This will be mitosis. And only having half of it would be meiosis because half goes to sperm and half goes to egg. So the first one would be mitosis and the second one would be meiosis. Now pollination can help plants reproduce and then which one helps us grow? So remember how we talked about how plants can be asexual or sexual reproducers but that the only way Plants and flowers could be sexual reproducers as if the plant, um, if the pollen from one plant was carried to another, that's sexual reproduction. It's because you take the reproductive cells from one plant and put it to another one. So that's meiosis. And then the one that helps us grow, that's mitosis. It helps our body cells replicate and it helps us grow. So there are your answers for this slide. All right, so that is it for your task cards for today. If you are confused or you need any extra explanations, please ask your teacher and we will be more than happy to help you. Thanks.